Hey there YouTube, I'm Brenda Petrella, and a couple of you have asked me about how I take care of my camera gear when I'm shooting in bad weather. This came after one of my recent videos where I talked about how to use fog in, in your landscape compositions. And as you'll see in that video, I ended up in a big snowstorm when we were out photographing, uh, which was pretty fun. But it raised some questions about, well, how do you properly care for your gear when you're out in a snowstorm or in the rain or whatever? Fortunately, we are having a late season snowfall in Vermont today, and so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you what it is that I do to take precautions out in the field, as well as what, how I prepare before I go out to shoot in bad weather. So probably one of the most important things to keep in mind when you're going out and shooting in cold weather is to bring a lot of extra charged batteries. I like to just bring three on an average day, and if I think it's gonna be super cold, like, like below 15 degrees Fahrenheit, then I usually bring along a USB charger for my batteries in the car so I can charge as I'm driving from location to location. So the cold weather will drain your batteries really quickly. And so normally what I do is I just keep my extra batteries in my uh, camera bag. However, then they'll be cold. So the best thing to do is to keep them in your jacket pocket or in your pants pocket or someplace close to your body heat and that way your batteries are less likely to drain. Now here's a little tip if you do see that your batteries are draining quickly, oftentimes just re-warming them up um, for about 30 minutes to an hour will bring some of that charge back. Another thing that I bring along as I've mentioned in my other videos is I always bring along this lens cloth, a couple of lens cloths anyway because they can get wet or they can get dusty and dirty and you want to make sure that you're constantly cleaning your lens especially when you're out photographing in bad weather your lens is gonna get wet all the time. Another way of preventing your lens from getting too wet is to actually use the lens hood. Even though this is typically used to prevent um, sun glare from hitting your lens, um, it's also a great way to keep snow or rain away from the end of your lens. I find that these little alcohol-based lens wipes are really helpful if you just need to do a little cleaning of your lens, the end of your lens in the field. So the other thing I like to bring along are a couple of these microfiber cloths. They're sh super cheap and available on Amazon for just you know five bucks or something like that. And they're very super absorbent uh, material, unlike the lens cloth. Now, sometimes when you're shooting in like icy conditions, if it's sleeting or something like that, then this isn't really going to absorb a whole lot of water um, but this will and so often what I'll do is when I have my camera on the tripod I will set up this microfiber cloth I'll just cover the camera like that as I'm uh, getting ready to uh, shoot another way to um, protect your camera in bad weather <laughs> is to use a little raincoat for it. You can use a plastic bag, but I actually find that these work super well. And this is the one that I have is from Ruggard. It's just this um, sort of elbow shaped plastic bag with a, a cinch on the end that can go around your camera lens. I use this all the time for doing time-lapse photography, especially overnight uh, time-lapse photography because um, you know dew will build up on your camera and this is a great way to keep the dew off. And so I just keep this in my camera bag at all times because you just, you never know when you might run into some bad weather. Another way to protect your camera is to use this cover. This is like a soft shell type of cover that is uh, made by Peak Design, fabulous company, love their products. It's like a jacket for your camera and it just folds over the top of your camera, your lens comes through here. It does have little holes here in the corners for your camera straps to come through if you want. And a little cinch here that will cinch it down. The reason why this is handy is it's it's waterproof. It will certainly protect your camera from snow and rain. Um, you know, it's not sealed or anything, but it, it definitely is a great cover. When I use it is if I have my camera out of my camera bag and I'm hiking some distance, but I wanna have my camera ready uh, and weather protected, then I'll use this. I always bring along extra SD cards because you might have a failed card or you might fill up your card if you haven't emptied it in a while. So I always bring spare memory cards and I keep them in this little tiny plastic bag just to make sure that it stays uh, waterproof. I find this little Eagle Creek sack to be super handy. It is like not even an ounce. It's so lightweight. And I just throw my extra batteries and my lens cloths and whatnot in there. And then I know where everything is. 
Okay, the next thing that I like to carry along with me are uh, hand warmers. There's a few reasons for this. One, to keep your hands warm. And the trick that I use is I usually just open these up and stick them in my jacket pockets. And then they're just there. Anytime I need to stick my hand in my pocket and get them warmed up really quickly, if it's super cold out and I need to be fiddling with my camera with either my gloves off or with super thin or thin liner gloves, then my hands tend to get pretty cold. And so I find that just keeping a hand warmers open and in my pockets actually works out really well and I can just hang on to them while the camera's shooting. These also come in super handy in doing time-lapse photography, especially at night. And that's a whole other subject that we'll go into um, in another tutorial. And lastly, this might be something that's uh, most important with cold weather photography. So what I like to do is anytime I get a package in, you know, and you get these little silica packets, I just save them in a little plastic bag. And then when it's time to go out to do uh, some cold weather photography, I grab a couple of these, I stick them in a big freezer bag, seal it up, and then I have this in my car ready to go at the end of the day before I come inside. The reason for this is that when your camera gets super cold, then if it comes into a warm environment, all the moisture in that environment is going to condense on your camera. One way to prevent this is to um, stick your camera in a bag with these silica gels and seal it up before you come inside. So while the camera is still cold, when you're still outside in the cold environment, seal up your camera in this bag, bring it inside, and that will prevent the moisture from warming on your camera. Well folks, that wraps up this quick tutorial on how to protect your camera gear in bad weather. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll take you out on a little adventure in this big snowstorm. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Drop me a comment or question below, I read all of them, and be sure to check out my other landscape photography tutorials. Thanks guys!